welcome back to my channel. So today's look, I wanted to do a look with my palette that I've already misplaced. You guys, I start these videos and I'm not ready. I found it. So I actually purchased this palette and it finally came in. I'm so excited to try it. This is the Peach Palette by Kylie. I've already used it, so it's not as cute as it once was, but it's still amazing. I used it the other day and I really love it. So today's look is gonna be peachy, as you can see. So we're just gonna do like a peachy glowy look and let's get ready for spring. I'm so ready. So without saying anything else, let's just get in. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, I'm actually gonna start the skin first. I don't know, I'm just feeling like doing my skin. I've, I've been doing that lately because our eye is not gonna be that dark, so we're not gonna have much fallout, so it'll work out good. So I'm gonna start with this primer. This is from the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder. This is the Pore Vanishing Stick. I've used this a couple times. You guys can kind of see what it looks like. Judah has been here, of course, that Judah. And it's a stick, and then it has this in the middle, and it has no color, but I just love the way it makes your skin look. It just literally, I mean, can you see this? I'm gonna do one side and I'm gonna show you guys. And then I like to just tap it in with my finger, just to tap it into any texture or any large pores. This is really gonna fix it, I mean, it's so good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I like to prime my lips. I swear by this stuff. This is the Sugar Advanced Therapy by Fresh. And think of this as like a primer for your lipstick. I cannot get enough of this. I carry this everywhere I go, and you know they come in colors too. I'm obsessed. I think my favorite right now at the moment in, the, in this is this one, and then they have one in color, and it's, the shade is Fig. These are incredible. So like I said, th use this as a primer for your lipstick. I like it because if it sits on there a little while, it just makes your lips, I'm looking at the mirror, just like looking at how much better my lips look when I put this stuff on. So yeah, primer for your lips. I carry this in my purse. This is with me at all times. You guys need to check it out. All right guys, now for the fun part. So most of you might know that I've been into mixing stuff into my foundation and I'm mixing foundations and it is so much fun. It makes me feel fancy. So I'm gonna take my little mixing pan here. A lot of you always ask me where I get these. Um, I do not know where I got this. I'm even trying to think. I get, I get sent a lot of stuff and sometimes they send these for like promos. But I'm pretty sure you can find these at like art stores. They're pretty easy to find. So all you gotta do is, what would this be called then? Makeup palette mixer. I'm sure you can find this on Amazon for like nothing. So easy peasy. Today I'm gonna be mixing Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'm in the shade Desert Beige. I'm gonna be mixing in the Strobe Cream and Peach Light from MAC Cosmetics. And then I'm gonna get a little crazy because this look is gonna be really dewy and really glowy. And I'm gonna mix in my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. So all three of these together and we are gonna be glowing to the next level. Ben has already stepped out to get his sunglasses. So let's start mixing. Okay guys, so we're gonna pour out the double wear. I think that's about good. You guys know this is a really full coverage foundation. Good. Perfect, because I'm... Okay guys, we're gonna add just a little bit of the strobe cream. Ooh, I'm so excited. Good. And now we're gonna drop... I guess, oh, oh, we're out, oh man. We are gonna need sunglasses. I think that was about five drops, y'all. We're gonna be next level glowing. I'm so excited. Taking my little makeup mixer here. We're going to mix away. Okay, now I'm gonna dot this on my face. I'm filming an Instagram tutorial as I do this, so I'm gonna be extra and put these dots all over my face. It's gonna be extra, you guys. So when you guys watch the mini tutorial, you're gonna be like, there's Rose being extra. So we're just gonna dot this on, and then we're going to blend it in with what? What are we gonna blend it in with, Ben? That's it, just the one. What am I gonna use? Dang right. All right, here we go. I've got all my spots ready. I actually love adding more into the foundation because I feel it even makes the foundation spread more even. I love 
not the way this concoction smells too, it smells so good. Ooh, look at that glow. Look at it, like you would think that that would be too much to add it into your foundation, but I did it the other day and I just feel extra. What are you thinking, Ben? Super extra. Super extra, he's into it. Okay guys, I really always like to tell you that I take a long time working this into my skin. It's not just about like getting it on the skin, it's really about working it into the skin so it doesn't just sit on top. And you wanna be extra careful around your fluffy eyebrows. But even though I've done this side, I'm gonna to continue to blend all of this in for quite a while. And then I like to tap it down the neck as well. And then depending on what kind of top I'm gonna to wear, I'll even go through here. Cause I'm extra. But always remember that, just continue to work your foundation in. All right guys, so lately I have been loving the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. Especially when I'm going for a lighter, dewier, glowy look. If I'm wanting that full coverage, y'all know that Stetch Tarte Shave Tape, even though it's so hard to say, is my jam. But lately I really have been liking this one. This one's really nice. I'm using the shade Fair today. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop this on. And honestly, I've been using less concealer. So I feel like it's been warmer here in Houston. And that's actually where I film. So I've been wearing less. And plus this one smells like coconuts. So we'll just use a little bit. You know, the normal concealer spots. I wanted to show you one more little trick I've been doing. So since I've been doing my foundation before my eyes, I like to put a little bit of the concealer in here and it just really brightens everything up. But I actually don't use a beauty blender. I'll just use a fluffy brush. This one doesn't have a name, but you can just see it's a fluffy brush. And I'll just kind of buff this in here and it just even it just really brightens and makes everything more more it makes it come to life more. That's what I wanted to say. So this is definitely a trick I've been into lately. Time to work in this concealer. Just like with foundation, I like to really press this into the skin and to make sure that it's not just sitting on top. You really want to work it in. Look how pretty this concealer is. It's a lot lighter than shape tape, but I'm really feeling it, especially for the warmer months that are coming. That's a good time. So, even though you're not seeing me blend this the full time, I want you to know that I take a while blending this out. So before we add any powder to set this, and we're gonna use as little powder as possible today, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do my highlight before I add anything else, and I'm gonna use the Custom Enhancer Drops as well in the shade Moonlight. These are so much fun. I love these. I think these were like one of my favorite products of last year. So we're just gonna drop these on here. Three should be enough. I mean, we wanna be glowing. I think three will do it. And I'm just gonna take my beauty blender that's not damp enough. Cause Ben is, has a guitar wrapped around him. I don't wanna ask him to go wet the beauty blender. So we're just gonna tap this. Ooh. Ooh, I love these so much. And we're just going to work these into the cheekbone here. Look how nicely they blend. Like, it's just so easy. I feel like with all these formulas I have working today, they all blend so easy. I'm gonna grab some more, go to this side. I like to do this before I do any powder, any bronzer. I think it just makes it come alive more and it doesn't get as muddy and mix in with the other products. So I'm also gonna be taking it just right here because that really adds to the strobing slash over highlighting. That's really what we should call it, effect. And then I'll put just a little here and I'll tap it in until it starts to get that shine. And I'm just gonna leave, I'm gonna leave this bare through here but I think putting it here really adds to that pretty strobing effect. Okay guys, we're gonna go into the Kat Von D Locket Brightening Powder in the shade Petal. I remembered all that. I'm getting better at this beauty blogging thing. I'm taking a dose of color setting powder brush, and this look is not about powder, but I'm just going to lightly tap it under here. We, do, we wanna use as little powder as we can. I know if you have oily skin, you're gonna to wanna to use more, which I completely suggest. But I have normal to dry skin, so I'm just gonna try and do, do as little as possible. 
And I'm just gonna go ahead and use what was ever on my lid kind of as my eyeshadow base. But if I set it with this powder, it is going to work better for me. So that's kind of a little trick I like to do. Even if, you, if you've done your foundation before, just pop some translucent powder on that and you have an eyeshadow base. Easy peasy. Um, I'm going to set a little more through here and under the other eye, lightly. And then I'm also going to set here just a touch. And then the other place I'm going to go just a touch heavy. This is so we don't get streaky with our bronzer. Notice I'm not going back and forth. I'm tapping it into the skin. We're not going to touch that highlight. We want that to stay blinding people. So go around the highlight and really focus the powder a little more where we're going to be putting our bronzer. Because if that isn't set, we're going to have a streaky mess. I'm going to get mad. I'm going to yell. Ben's going to try and console me. It's, it's, going to, it's just going to turn into a tragedy really fast. So this is my biggest tip to you so this doesn't happen to you because it's happened before. Ben still hasn't recovered from that tragedy. Right, Ben? It was rough. Okay, so that's my tip to you guys. My second favorite part of makeup, bronzing. So I'm gonna be using the Sephora Collection bronzer in the shade Costa Rica. And I'm using a Morphe R7 brush. This is similar to the MAC 135, but it's a more affordable option. So I'm just gonna dip this in here and I'm gonna go in. I like to start pretty light. I feel like I used to go in pretty heavy with bronzer and then have to go in and correct it. So I'm, I like to go in lighter these days and then build to where I wanna, where I wanna be. So I always do the hairline first. You guys pretty much know the drill. And then I'm not gonna contour, but I'm going to dust this under my cheekbones and kind of just buff it up, always upwards. So I'll place it in here, get it, and then start to go upwards. That's about it. Bronzing is a little bit easier than contouring. And then of course under the neck. All right guys, I'm gonna get crazy and I'm gonna use this shade right here from the Kylie Peach Palette as my blush. This is a Marc Jacobs blusher brush. Let's hope this works out. I was feeling frisky. I might have just, I might have just ruined everything, but I actually I think we're okay. You know, just start out. Start out light and then you just go in there. Oh yeah, that's the ticket. Just wanted a light, a light peach in there. Okay, let's get started on our eyes. I'm going into this shade right here called Sorbet. You know, one thing I will say about this palette is I wish it had the names out here. That makes life so much easier. It does have them on the back, but then I have to go back there and look and then... But I'm liking the way this is going on, so let's go ahead and get started. Ben's gonna bring you in here. And we're just gonna use this as our transition color and I'm using a MAC 224 brush. And we're just going to start to blend this in and almost treat this as a base shadow. Okay guys, we're gonna do like a very light cut crease. So the next shade I'm going to go into is called Peachy. I'm still using a MAC 224. And you guys can kind of see the technique. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be looking down into the mirror and I'm going to go above that fold in my eye. And I'm gonna create this shape. And as I create it, I'm gonna blend this peachy shade upwards. This is gonna be the last crease. We're gonna put our last color we're gonna put into our crease. This is Duchess, I'm still taking a MAC 224 brush. Knock off any excess product. Looking down into the mirror, it helps so much when you're creating your shape. And we're just going to follow where we put the other shades. We're just gonna go a little bit tighter into the crease. So I'll, I'll shape it. And once I see that we get the shape we want, then I'll start to buff it upwards. So I'm going into this shade right here, Mojito. This shade is so cool. It's like a green gold. And, and this is my no-name flat brush. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, I do love a MAC 242, and that's a flat brush. But this one is, seems to always be my favorite, but unfortunately, it does not have a name. And we're just going to kind of create a bigger lid than what I have. And I take it, do you guys see the, I always try to tell you this, because so many of you are like, I have hooded lids, I can't do this. Well, I kind of have a hooded lid too. 
Do you see the fold there and how I take the eyeshadow over the fold? Yeah, that's a good trick. So I'm just gonna continue to build this onto the lid and kind of cut out the crease here. All right guys, so I think I went into the shade earlier and I called it Duchess because it's so confusing on the back. I'm not a rocket scientist here, guys. I'm a beauty blogger. So we're gonna go into cinnamon and I switched over to a MAC 217. And I'm just gonna take this over Mojito and I'm just going to kind of soften the edges and just add a little bit more depth. But I'm going very, with a, with a very light hand and I'm, light, I'm doing really small circles to kind of marry those two colors together. Okay guys, back into cinnamon again. This is such a good color. I'm gonna take my 217 and I'm gonna connect from my bottom lash line. And we're gonna kinda outline the green with this cinnamon shade here. We're gonna go underneath it and kinda wing it out. And then we're gonna blend it together. Kinda like I have over here. Okay, we're going into cinnamon one last time, I think. I might cover my whole body with this shade, I really like it. MAC 242, this is the flat brush I was talking about. And we're just gonna go ahead and finish underneath here. We're gonna start really close to the lash line. And then we're gonna soften it as we bring it down. We really wanted to connect that. But this is the easy part. Just kinda smoke it out. I'm taking this Marc Jacobs these are their new eyeliners, they're so good. Highliner Gel Crayon in the shade Overt. This one's a kind of an olive -y deep shade and it's become one of my favorite. Here, I don't wanna to touch it, so. Give me this. So it's like one of my favorite eyeliners at the moment. It's not quite black and it's not brown, it's just something different. And I'm just gonna put it on my um, waterline. And when you see me doing this, this is to pull my eye open without messing that up. And then do the top part. Yeah, I just like to shut my eye and run it back and forth. Please be careful. But I do like these because they're not as sharp and they are more comfortable to do that with. So I'm absolutely loving these eyeliners. So I'm not gonna do a wing liner today because the eyeshadow itself is so intense. But I do wanna deepen the outer corner. I really want you guys to be able to see this. So I'm gonna add some dots through here with our eyeliner. I'm gonna take this eyeliner brush from Dose of Colors. This is the fine liner brush. And before that sets, I'm just going to smoke this all together and just give us a touch of a smoky lash line. No precision here, just, just a little bit of depth. I'm gonna pop on a little bit of this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Probably one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I tried it about a month and a half ago and it's been my go-to. In fact, I've, I've kind of not been wearing falsies as much. I've just been wearing this. I really like it. But we're just gonna do a light coat because we are gonna be wearing falsies today. Okay guys, fun times. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero. Guerrero? I feel like I'm slotting her last name, but I flippin' love her. She's been one of my favorites since forever. I just know her as Nicole. But how beautiful is this? So I'm taking a MAC 242 and I'm gonna take this shade right here and this is gonna be our inner corner. Ooh, I already have one side done. It's so pigmented. My brush is wet. I didn't get enough that time. I probably need some more MAC Fix Plus. I do. MAC Fix Plus, you guys. You gotta get it really wet and then it'll blind you. But this is incredibly pigmented. All right, here we go. Bam, there we go. I left my little shader brush at home, I'm so sad, so I'm having to do this with the MAC 242, but a MAC 228 is the real way to go. So I started with this color, and then I go into Kitty Cat, and it turns it more peach. Okay guys, we're gonna go into Kitty Cat. I love the name of that. And I'm using a Morphe R36 brush, this is from their Rose Gold collection. Just going to just, just pop a little extra on. I think this is my favorite palette that Anastasia has ever came out with. I think Nicole like nailed the colors. I think they're absolutely amazing. And this is probably the brightest formula I've ever seen. It's so pretty. 
I just used a little bit of the Forever Lit, this one right here. And I'm just going to really light up that Cupid's bow. Okay guys, let's go ahead and pop on our lashes. I'm wearing the I House of Lashes Iconic Light Lashes. And they've been sitting there drying for quite some time. So they should be just about right to put on. So they're not sliding around. Bam. Ooh, yeah. So as our lashes are drying, I'm gonna start on the lips. I already primed my lips, as you know, with this. This is the Sugar Advanced Therapy. I mean, this just makes your lips just so much better for lipstick. I like, even if you wanna put it on and wipe just a touch off before you do your matte lipstick or you can leave it on, it really helps keep matte lipsticks not dry and yucky feeling. So this stuff right here, it's changing it. I love it, I love the way it feels. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go right into my lip liner. This is the Mariah Carey collection with MAC, so dramatic, spelled with Q-U-E on the end. This is a very dark lip liner, but I love the dimension it adds. So what I like to do is lightly trace this, because if I was to go full force, we would be like 1991, is that you? Because that's how dark this is on me, but it's such a good lip liner. It's one of my favorites. So I like to lightly trace it, and then I take this lip brush right here, and this is from I don't know where this is from. It's just a little tiny detailer. You could even use a MAC 228 for this. So I'm gonna blend this in as I go. And it's just gonna add dimension. We're actually gonna be using new lipstick today, you guys. Are you excited? And then I'll show you real fast. I like to just go on the Cupid's bow. And real fast, I like to blend it out. So it's a lot of adding and layering and then blending with a small detail brush. How gorgeous are these? Tarte just came out with these new Rainforest of the Sea collection lipsticks. First of all, this is what the tube looks like. You can see the, the lid. Oh my goodness, these are like some of the prettiest lipsticks I've ever seen. So I'm gonna start with Skinny Dip, which is this really nude shade here. Oh, that's the, that's the ticket. That is exactly what I wanted. And I'm thinking about mixing in pink lemonade as well. I was thinking about it, but now I don't know. What do you think, Ben? Are you liking this nude you got going on here? I like it. I think it does. I think we're gonna leave out pink lemonade, you guys. But here, I'm gonna show you the whole package together. Look how beautiful. I can't get over it. They nailed it, and honestly, the formula feels incredible. You know, I think that we might be going a little bit farther away from the matte lip. Not too far, but just a little bit. I'm, I'm really feeling the glowiness that even the lipsticks like this, they give you. So we'll try this out for a little while. And then I always like to go back in with my little detail brush and just blend. Everything is about blending. All right, guys, this is the finished look. Peachy, greeny, goldy, over glowy, of course. I really, I actually really like this look. I kind of want to incorporate this. Whatever this is, is pretty cool. But yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think I'm, I think I'm feeling the, the Kylie Peach palette. I actually purchased it myself, so I think I like it. I really do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at Rosenbin. Ben's gonna have that pop up. I know he is. But uh, we'll see you next time. And I actually think next time I'm going to do an eyeliner tutorial. What do you guys think? Eyeliner tutorial? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much.